G'day friends and welcome to our Wednesday um, Stamp and Create Facebook Live. Um, it's Vicky Wright, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator Australia. Um, I'm a couple of little minutes, couple of, I'm a couple of minutes early, um, which, I, which surprises me because I thought I'd be a little bit late. Um, so today we're going to play with um, the sketch that um, Robbie and I did on Sunday. Each, um, for the month of February, each Sunday we're casing um, a card from the current mini catalogue. So I have got a sketch layout. So this is what we're going to be doing. Now, all the measurements um, are on my blog, um, Imperial and Metric A4. And if you wanted the letter size, head over to Robbie's blog, which the link is on my blog as well. Um, the link will be posted below anyhow. Okay, so what... I thought we might do is use this one flowers of friendship now in saying that I'm not sure how it's going to work so we're just going to go from there now um, I can't always see comments but I will answer them after um, the lives Okay, especially if you've got any questions. Okay, so we'll keep that there so that the um, the card is on page. Mm -mm -mm. I'm not too sure actually. Just bear with me. Here. So that's it there, and then we create the sketch to go with it. Okay, so I've sort of cut up a kit, but that's about all. And I've sort of done a few things, but let's see how we go. Okay, so we've got our little piece of basic white. And what we're going to do with that is stamp our image. But before I do that, what I'm actually going to do is stamp our... Oh no, we're going to stamp our image. Yep. But I don't want to stamp the top bits, so I'm just going to ink it up. Some of the ink off. It's a tissue. I just get a clean tissue. It, what, it's not going to matter if we um, if some of it stamps anyhow because it'll be covered up. Okay. So I'm just going to do that there. I'm not too worried about the, those marks there. As I said, they'll be covered up. Then what we're going to do is... I'm thinking we might do some blending eh, with our masks. Now, I haven't done this with the masks. I'm using the artistic decorative. We might use that one. Okay, so I'll just grab some um, washi tape so that I can pin it down. One. 
you've got masking tape, you can always use um, the masking tape. To... This is just old washi tape that I sort of keep for different reasons. So... I'm going to take this down. I always tape it on the wrong side. You could use your um, stemperatus and the magnets, but I just find that this works just as good. And I'll just grab one more piece. I just don't want the mask to keep um, to move. Then we'll bring in our blending pen, or brush I should say, and we're going to use Sweet Sorbet, um, a blending brush there. And I'm going to, as I said, I'm not sure how this will work. I'm just going to blend around the outside just to create a halo, halo effect. I don't want it too dark. I'll just bring it in a little bit. Just like that. You could always add more colour if you wanted to, but I just want it light. And then what we're going to do is very carefully take off that, grab that plain tissue that we just had, take the ink off. Very carefully remove the washi tape. And that's it. Then what we're going to do, which I've already done a couple of, um, I stamped a couple of the um, flowers from the same stamp set. I've stamped two big ones and four of these littler ones. I punched them out with um, the punch and I've coloured a couple in with um, Pulpati Stampin' Blends. And one, two, I need a couple more, three. So that's done and then what we're going to do is we're going to colour our leaves on here and we're going to use um, Mossy Meadow. So I'm just going to quickly colour these with our Stampin' Blanks. Just blend that dark bit out a little bit. If you don't have stamper blends, you could always use your marker in a colour lifter or your, um, sorry, your watercolours, pencils, or a, um, oh, what do you call it? Blender pen. And just do watercolours. And we'll just do the little top here. That's it. That's all we're going to do. Then what we're going to do is... Let's see. 
this, put these together. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue in the middle, that one, and that one. Could use your mini glue dots if you wanted to. So I'm just going to off center them. Could have popped these up too if you wanted to. Oops. And just like that. I'm just going to go and get my Kepso Coral, I think. Um, blender. I don't know whether it'll look any good, but and I'm just going to colour the centre. Oh, it's dry. And if this one works, it's dry too. Put that on the order. I will we'll just use. Daffodil to light. I'll just and then we're going to pop these up. With a pop uh, with a dimensional. Now before I pop these on, what I want to do is stamp our sentiment. Now, it's not a very good sentiment, it's Hopefully that will stay on. Um, and I think we'll do it in sweet sorbet. I always stamp onto scrap paper first so that I know I've got it right. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Yep, that's pretty good for me. Now, before we do that, what we might do is stick it to our piece of cardstock before I pop the flowers up. And what I'm using. I think I should have used um, tear and tape, but it doesn't matter. Is the glitter paper, um, glimmer paper, the 2022 2024 glimmer paper. Okay, now I hope this sticks. If not, we'll just come back and we'll put tape on. It seems to be taking. I'll just press down a little bit. Just like that. Okay. Then we'll stick our piece of cardstock here this piece so 
Um, I'm not sure whether I like that, but I've grabbed a piece of um, Blushing Bride and I've embossed it with the, is it the Timber um, 3D embossing folder? And then all I'm going to do is just to highlight a little bit just use the excess in our blending brush and we'll just go over the, the raised areas in the folder or on the cardstock. And we're just going to stick that there. But this time I think I'll use tear and tape. Just going to stick that down there like that and trim off the excess. Then, what we'll do is we'll bring in some. Um, this is sweet sorbet, so we'll grab our metallic ribbon and we will put that across there, I think. So again, I always use this... Um, the tear and tape when I'm using ribbon because I like it to um, be secure when I stick it behind and it won't come apart then oops What I do is grab a bit more and I just put more over the top. That way it's really, really secure. And you know it's not going to come apart. So we'll take the top of that. We'll put some glue on the back. going to stick this to a piece of basic white I have left a bit of a wider border than I usually do but I think with the with the glimmer paper it highlights it a bit Okay, I don't know about these colours, but we'll see where we go. Then we're going to bring in our base card of Blushing Bride and burnish the score line. And we're going to stick this to our base card. Just like that. 
Mm. I don't know about the colours, they're really playing with me. Okay, so then what we're going to do, bring in these. Okay. Uh, the pool party sort of lifted a little bit, so I'm oh, much happier now. And we'll just put that under there like that. Then what we'll do is we'll tie our little bow. Thread it through here actually. Let's do that just for something different. Watch me mark this up now. Just play with it until you're happy. I might have to stick that down with the glue dot, I think. Let's do that so that um, it sits properly. Where is my doobie dapper? Can you find anything when you're looking for them? Just bear with me. Do is place a little glue dot right there and stick that on there like that and that should keep it still. And then what we'll do, play with this ribbon and pull it apart a little bit. sit shortly just like that and that is our, our card nearly done but I think what we'll do is add um, a little bit of bling and I think we'll grab our um, I think we'll just grab our normal limestones eh? Got any big ones? I'm going to put some in the middle. Oops. Oops. I don't know where that went. Oops.
Little devils don't want to play. this away before they go everywhere. And that is our card for today. Easy peasy, but it's using this layout. And this layout come from page 54 of the mini catalogue. Okay, so I'll show you the original card that I shared on Sunday which is on my blog and as I said you'll be able to have all the measurements A4 metric and imperial and if you follow Robbie's link you'll be able to grab the um, the letter size as well okay so that is the original card oh actually that's using Sweet Sorbet too um, that's the Country Floral Lane from the mini catalogue. Um, I've just fussy cut the hearts and the leaves. Only because I don't have the punch. And the sequence are the pastel self-adhesive sequence. They're the pink ones. The ribbon is the Real Red and Burlap co ribbon combo from the... Country Floral Lane Sweet Collection. Now, I also did a card um, yesterday while I was playing around with this layout. And this is it here. I really like this colour. Now, purple's not my colour, but I'm happy with it. So there's your three cards. The colours here are... Um, Army Blue, Orchid Oasis, that's the Orchid Oasis metallic wo wo woven ribbon. The stamp is Dainty Delight, that's from the Dainty Delight as well. Um, stamped in Memento Tuxedo Black, coloured with Flirty Flamingo and Old Olive. And the flowers um, are Orchid Oasis and the middles um, a Mango Melody. Okie dokie, so there's the three cards all using that same layout. Okay, and as I said, all the measurements will be on my blog and I'll link it below. Okay, thanks so much. Enjoy your day. See ya. All right.